What I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to set up a virtual machine. A virtual machine allows you to install everything and keep it completely isolated. It's like having a computer within a computer and it's inside a little sandbox and everything that happens inside the sandbox can be immediately erased and deleted if there's any issues. Now, when you're starting off with new crypto projects, especially these node projects, you're not really sure what's coming with the software. Uh, you can validate it and check it out, but sometimes malicious code or Trojans can be hidden inside the wallet and you wouldn't know until it's too late. So one of the things that we're going to do right now is we're going to set this up inside a virtual machine. The virtual machine that I'm going to be using in this example is going to be the VMware Workstation Player. Now, this is a free download that you can get directly off the website. I'm going to walk you through those steps. But there's also an alternative, and that one's called VirtualBox. Uh, I made a video on another channel, and it's right over here if you're looking to install one of those. One other thing that I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm also going to install the operating system. The operating system that I'm going to install is Ubuntu 20.04. This is the most widely used operating system for many wallets that are out there. So that's the one I'm going to be choosing right now. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I'm just going to switch over to my desktop and I'm running Windows 10. If you have a PC with Windows 11 on it, the installation is going to be very similar. I'm already at the VMware Workstation Player website. I'll make sure I link this down in the description. Uh, we have the download for free link right over here. We're just gonna click on that and it's gonna take us over to the download page. We're at the download page and we can go over to the download section and we can scroll down a little bit here and you can see that there's a couple of versions available. You got the Linux version and we have the Windows 64-bit operating system one. This is the one that we're gonna select and we're gonna click on the download link. It's automatically going to download on our computer. It's 540 megs. So we'll let that download and I'll jump over to the next step. Okay, so the download's complete. Our next step is to go ahead and uh, we're going to download the operating system. So I'm going to jump over to the Ubuntu website and we can see that there is a desktop image. This is the one that we want to select. So you can go ahead and click on that and it's going to automatically download onto your computer. I can let this download. I'll jump over to the next step. Okay, our downloads are now complete. I'm going to minimize this window. Okay, I'm going to open up my downloads folder. You can see that we have the VMware Workstation Player and I have the Ubuntu image down here. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on VMware Workstation Player and let that execute. Uh, so we get a prompt over here. We can just click on yes. And the installation is going to begin. It's going to minimize that window. All right, so we get the wizard that's coming up here. We just have to click on next. And this is going to be the end user license agreement. You can go ahead and read through all of this and then click on I accept and then click on next. I can be using the default settings. If you want to change the folder to a custom folder, click on change and change that right over there. Um, and then I can just leave the default option selected. Click on next. And then we have the options to get the updates automatically. Then we have the customer experience option to select if you want to keep that checked and click on next. And then we have a couple options for shortcuts. This is up to you. Uh, you can leave them selected or not, and then click on next. And we're ready to install. So we'll click on the install button and it's gonna go ahead and install the application. So it's gonna go ahead and install the application. This might take a minute or so. Okay, so the installation is now complete. If you have a license, you can go ahead and enter that right now. And if you're gonna to continue to use this for non-commercial purposes, you can go ahead and click on finish. And then we have the icon for VMware on our desktop. We can go ahead and double click on that to open it up. And here we are at our freshly installed uh, dashboard. The first thing that we wanna do is install an operating system. So we're gonna go ahead and click on this create a new virtual machine option. Click on that. And now we're in the setup wizard where we can select an ISO image file. Uh, if you click on the browse button over here, I've already downloaded the Ubuntu ISO image file. So go ahead and select that and click on open and it's gonna show up in here. Once you have that image selected, you can click on next. And now it's gonna ask you for some personalized information. This is the easy install. So we're gonna be entering in the username and password uh, that we want for this operating system and it's automatically going to configure and install it so we'll just quickly go ahead and type that in here okay i have everything typed in and go ahead and click on next and now you can name your virtual machine i'm just going to leave it as default maybe just put in the version number in here so i can identify it easily later on uh, and the storage location uh, the location that you're storing it you want to make sure this has enough space for the operating system uh, that you're going to be using you can always adjust the size later on uh, but make sure that area does have enough space on your hard drive so you can go ahead and click on next. And now it wants to know what the maximum disk size is. So you're allocating the space of your hard drive for this virtual computer. Uh, 20 gigs is often enough. If you're gonna be installing nodes or multiple nodes on one wallet, you might wanna increase this a little bit uh, because these blockchain files can actually get fairly big. Uh, in this example, we're gonna be using the default one, which is 20 gigs, that should be enough. So we'll go ahead and keep that. 
but we're also gonna use the first option over here, which is store the virtual disk as a single file. This is gonna allow us to move the file around if we want to on another computer. It also allows you to store it offline on a USB stick. So I'm gonna leave this option selected and then click on next. And it just gives us a little bit of a summary here of everything that we've selected. Once you've confirmed all the details here, you can click on finish and it's gonna go ahead and start this installation process. This installation process is actually gonna be pretty straightforward. Uh, you can let it go pretty much autopilot till it goes to the login screen. You'll see that it's gonna automatically do the installation and everything on its own. Okay, so this installation process is actually fairly automated right now. Uh, it's using the easy install technique. Uh, we've already entered in the user information. It's gonna go ahead and build that virtual machine for us, and it's gonna prompt us when it's complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that finish and I'll jump over to the next step. Okay, so the installation is complete. I'm gonna go ahead and switch back over. There we go. And you can see that I'm at my desktop, the virtual machine has rebooted and I'm at the login screen. So this is gonna be the username and password that you had entered during the setup. We're gonna go ahead and log into this, hit enter. And it's just gonna load up and bring us to our desktop. Uh, there's a few final little things that you can do over here and that's just to finish up the setup. Uh, there's a small setup wizard over here for Ubuntu. So I'm just going to click on next all the way through and then click on done. And then here I am at my desktop and we can resize this uh, however you'd like. You can make this actually go full screen. There's a full screen option right over here. And you can use this desktop as if it's your own desktop on your PC, even though it is a virtual desktop. And then to go up here to the menu, you can select the option again to exit the full screen mode. And that's all there is to it. We've gone ahead and we installed VMware Workstation Player 17 on a Windows 10 PC. We've installed the Linux operating system Ubuntu 20.04. From here, you can go ahead and download and install whatever core wallets or crypto wallets you want. And it's in this isolated box. And if anything goes wrong, you can just power off that machine and you can delete it. You can do whatever you want. It's been isolated and it's not gonna affect your computer. And now if you're looking for node projects to get involved in, I've made lots of guides and I'll make sure I link some in the description below. Uh, so you can go and venture out and test it out. But that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.